Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, always exciting when this guy shows up on the fight card, Daniel. He is a true mixed martial artist. Not really any glaring weaknesses, at least, that he's put on film thus far. He's the new breed of fighter. Those kids that start doing everything at six years old. They start wrestling. They start doing jujitsu. They start to box. He's one of those guys that has every one of those skills, and he does them all at an A-plus level. He's got tremendous cardio. He is the type of fighter that in a few years will just litter the UFC roster across the board. And oftentimes his opponents will say he doesn't really do anything special, but he does everything at a plus level, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike, if you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height and reach. Here is Bruce Ladies Buffett. and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Hollywood, California, Bo Crusher. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. Lee. All right, get through the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, for that fight. each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Outstanding in the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. 
All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Sneaky head kick. A beautiful counter with the punch there and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. Lands a big elbow there. Once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. That was a nice strike. Oh, nice hook by him there. How many times can this young man land this particular punch? behind that leg kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, he got absolutely clutch, and that's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Storch. Big body kick. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Lee gets caught with that punch. Circling away towards the left now. Just missing on the high kick there. Nice body kick. Straight punch lands. Big head kick lands. Just unable to quite find that range. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Oh, damaging knee to the head. Again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not too distant future. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness that you can even be on his feet right now. You got him whip his hip into that kick. advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Pretty good jab there by Lee. Hands harder, hands 20 seconds to go in round one. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Watch the shot to the body. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous round. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not headhunting, going to the body, 
making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his finish. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. We'll see if he can finish. That was a jab. Nice kick there by Lee. Real sneaky body kick. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Just missed with the left there. Oh, big elbow. He's got the reach advantage, you might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that chip. Big ball for the man. Now we'll get back to Rain. Ooh, head kick lands is hurt. Lee gets caught by that flush straight punch. Nice job by the offense there. What a body kick. Beautiful kick to the body there, and he just left himself wide open for that strike. Very vulnerable by leaning in, keeping the guard high to allow for an opening down low. Wow, huge head kick. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. What a punch. Vintage stuff there. Nice combination of strikes by Lee. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. So he lands a double jab there. He continues to work off of that weapon, and you felt like that was a big key for him coming in tonight. Very important for him right, to start popping that jab. He's doing it over and over again, and he's finding a ton of success. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Back and forth we go! This fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his corner guard was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Good stick. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Throws the right hand there. Thirty seconds to go in round two. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Misses with that punch. Ten seconds remain in round two. And he throws the teep and lands DC. Tell the audience what a teep is. A teep kick is to drive your foot right into the sternum of your opponent. A lot of times it can be used for space management, but lately it's been used to try to affect the breathing pattern of the person you're fighting. 
All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. He's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Big leg kick land. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Ooh, blocks the shot. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Lee. Ooh, he landed a huge hook there. Oh, nice jab. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Big knee to the bottom. That'll soften him up. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Use your hands to set up you got to check down. these low leg kicks. Lee gets caught with that punch. Just over three minutes to go. Big punch from the clinch. Lee gets tagged again. Another flush punch to the head. Big kick. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Real quick leg kick. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found his range on the field. I mean, oh, what a shot to the body. He told us he was going to reach it. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. He does not get out of it. Wow! Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel. And that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. All right, let's re-rack the highlight now, DC. And he's certainly going to enjoy watching this one back. The head kick was there early. It was there often and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick. Over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands. But ultimately, it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 48 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Paul Russian. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.